Uh, next talk will be by Hitesh Garg. I forgot to mention that Manas is from IMSC, so is Hitesh Garg, who will talk on the conformal phase diagram of neutral polymers and attractive crowders. Uh, thank you, organizer, for giving me the opportunity to present my uh, recently archived work with my guide uh, Satyavan Vempalla and co-guide R. Rajesh. So, title of my talk will be the conformational phase diagram of neutral polymers in the uh, in the presence of attractive crowd. I'll be defining these terms uh, along the talk. So, initially, like what is polymer and why to study polymer? So, polymer we might all have studied in our class 12th that some atom or the molecule which repeats itself to form a long chain which we call either polymer or macromolecule. Why we study? Because polymer is ubiquitous in nature. It is present all around us, like uh, in material science, in living nature, in our body, everywhere polymer is present. So, so, uh, so it is uh, really important to study about characteristic of polymers. So, what I am studying is the conformation of the polymer under various conditions like temperature, various interactions, various pH values and all. So in this study, mostly we have st uh, studied about uh, the conformation in a different, different interaction. I will be discussing that. <clears throat> so, uh, polymer physics can be done in three ways, uh, experimental way, simulation or the analytical. What we are doing is simulation. So, I am just briefly defining, explaining the algorithm and the technique which I am using. So, we are using uh, molecular dynamics technique, which has very simple, uh, just uh, like equation of motion we are solving here. So, for that we need some initial position and initial velocity to be given for the particles. From that, uh, after giving initial position and the velocity, we need to give them some interaction through which they uh, interact with each other. So, here I am talking about the neutral polymer, so they just will talk to each other through algebra this is van der Waal potential having this mathematical form uh, for epsilon and where epsilon is kind of strength of the potential and sigma acting as a size of the particle. After giving potential we can calculate force and the acceleration and from that we can calculate uh, uh, final position and veloc veloc final velocity through some uh, algorithm we are using like velocity valley algorithm. So, this uh, from that like we will evolve the all the trajectory and we will get final position and the final velocity of the particles. <clears throat> so, what I am studying is uh, conformation of the polymer that what kind of shape and the size uh, polymer will take uh, under different interaction of the with the different particles or different solvent or crowder. For that I just briefly want to discuss uh, what is the in like general trend in polymer physics like how polymer conformation take place in different solvent condition. Solvent is something you can call that when, in which solute is being dissolved. So, here you can see there is a polymer uh, consists of monomer which I am saying M which is connecting to each other through some harmonic bond which is being uh, dissolved or submerged into some uh, box containing solvent particle or crowder particle. I am interchangeable, I will be using interchangeably these terms solvent or crowder which means the same actually. See, so here there are some notation that uh, it could be good solvent, solvent can be characterized into three different categories that one can be good solvent, poor solvent or theta, theta solvent or the ideal solvent. Good solvent is something which in which polymer wants to, won't like to dissolve into whereas in the <coughs> poor solvent it does not want to dissolve into and the theta is in between condition. So, what is the expectation is good, good solvent uh, polymer will be in more or less in the extended kind of form whereas in poor solvent it will be uh, kind of collapsed form and theta will be in between. Uh, form. What question we are addressing is what is the general conformational phase diagram in epsilon mm epsilon mc phase space and how the phase line are affected by the various interaction and the densities. So, since I have talked the interaction of the particles between monomer monomer and the monomer crowder. So, I am saying solvent as the crowder here. You can see here the epsilon that I am talking about epsilon mm and epsilon mc is the strength of the potential. Here uh, strength of the potential. So, since uh, there are two kind of particle monomer and the crowder. So, there can be three interaction monomer between monomer monomer between monomer crowder between mon crowder and crowder monomer monomer I am saying epsilon mm and monomer crowder is epsilon mc. So, the, what, what is general expectation or the intuition is if epsilon mm is greater than epsilon mc that means monomer monomer attraction is greater than monomer crowder attraction which means monomer wants to attract more with the crowder hence will form a collapse kind of form which you can see here in the VMD base. If the, the second case if epsilon mc is greater than epsilon mm that means uh, monomer has more attraction with the crowders compared to monomer monomer 
and hence uh, they will fo form some kind of extended kind of form which you can see here also and the third one is in intermediate kind of stuff then the the interaction is kind of comparable to each other or the equal <coughs> so again uh, the question we are asking is what will be the phase diagram conformational phase diagram whether the collapsed form or the extended form when we vary these these uh, interaction epsilon mm and epsilon mc so this is our simulations result so what we did is we uh, plotted a radius of gyration with epsilon mc in the on the x axis and uh, with the different epsilon mm shown in different colors radius of gyration is basically a uh, measure of extent of the polymer if polymer is in the extended form we will expect rg to be high and if R, uh, rg is low that means polymer is in the collapsed form this is just a measure of extension of the polymer from that, uh, from the from these curves, we got a phase diagram. We define some uh, inflection point on this on these curves, and from that, we are saying them them to be transition point. From that, we we came up with this this kind of phase diagram. So black curve is the phase lines, and uh, there are three phases we came up with: E, C, I, and C, B. So I'll explain them uh, briefly. So if we uh, look at the red curve, that epsilon mm to be very weak, and epsilon mc to be also very weak. What we would expect is it in the kind of theta or the extended kind of form. That that uh, phase we are saying to be E, that extended phase due to weak interaction, E phase that been shown in the red dots, and you can see here also it's in the extended form. When we sit here on epsilon M C to be point one, and we go along this way, and go along uh, y axis from epsilon M M to point one to one, what we will expect is since the attraction between monomer monomer is increasing. That means change should go from extended to collapsed form, which is what is happening. If I'm showing here, if we go from red here, that is epsilon mm small to uh, epsilon mm high value, we are going to a second phase that shown by yellow dots, and this phase we are calling CI phase, that is collapsed phase due to intra-polymer interaction. This is this was very intuitive that as monomer monomer interaction is incre attraction is increased, so they will form collapsed kind of behavior. What was not non-intuitive was. If we sit on again this red curve and here is this value, at, as we increase epsilon mc, one would expect that the attraction between monomer and the crowd is now increasing, that the the value of rg or the the form of the polymer should be in the extension and rg value either should be remain like this or it should increase. But what was, what was happening was this uh, rg value was getting decreased with as we we were increasing epsilon mc, and this is happening because the crowder particle. Uh, was acting as a kind of glue or uh, as a bridge between two non neighbor monomers and making the chain to collapse so this phase we were calling cb and this cb phase is collapse phase due to bridging interaction it's uh, it has nothing to do with the like monomer monomer interaction is totally depending on the crowder interaction monomer crowder interaction so this phase we are calling cb phase so these are the three uh, three phases as we go from e to uh, from e or ci as we increase epsilon mc we are entering into the other phase uh, cb phase since i am calling uh, the collapse phase to different different phases one is ci and the cb how can we claim that these two phases are the different for that what we did is we uh, make a analysis we uh, plotted some uh, something called g of r that is pair correlation function between monomer monomer and monomer uh, crowders which will give us how the uh, Kind of crowder are arranged themselves uh, along along the chain or uh, around the chain. So uh, you can see here the black curve is for CI phase, the one with the intra polymer in attraction, the collapse due to uh, intra polymer attraction. We are seeing uh, there is a uh, peak here. That means if you sit on a monomer and see around that, uh, you will see the nearest neighbor to be uh, another monomer. Whereas in the CB phase, that blue curve, you are seeing the peak is absent. that means if you sit on a monomer and look around the neighbor you will not see any another monomer what will you see you will red peak here that is between monomer and the crowder what does it mean that if you sit on a monomer you will see on the neighbor a crowder not a monomer that so like i'm claiming here or is being claimed that uh, this is uh, the the cb phase is totally driven by the crowder and the crowder are coming inside of the chain whereas in the ci phase there was no crowder uh, inside the chain so these two are the different collapse state is the take home message from this slide uh, from this i just want to mention that uh, cb phase is totally independent of epsilon mm they are coinciding with each other that means it's totally driven by the monomer crowder interactions 
Okay, so uh, now just I want to, this was the like work, work conclusion. This, now I just want to go what we in future we are trying to uh, implement. So something, uh, there is a, uh, something called depletion interaction, which was discovered by uh, Asakara Osaka in 1953. And then later in 1980s, it was very popularized. So it's a very basic concept. If you take two type of particle, type A and type B particle, and we keep increasing type B particles density, what will happen? Type A will come closer and form a uh, phase separation from the whole solution. This, the attraction arises because of the increment of the density of the type B particle is known as depletion interaction. <clears throat> but in the literature, basically when the depletion interaction is being discussed, mostly the attraction, interaction between them is totally hardcore repulsion and all. But since we are studying uh, uh, in, uh, attract attractive interaction between the particles, what we got is, so I'm just talking about the crowder crowder uh, effect now, just since we have not, I have not talked about uh, crowder epsilon CC, I just talked about epsilon M MM and epsilon MC. So if we, uh, I take some epsilon CC value, 0.3, and, and as the density is being increased, I'm seeing the RG values decrease, which was very intuitive that this depletion effect is being, uh, playing a role, that as you increase the density, chain will form a collapse room. But what was uh, very interesting was, as I tune the value of epsilon CC, to one, the collapse is more prominent, which uh, which is very interesting. That without the depletion is basically seen as a repulsive interaction between the like Crowder and the uh, the, the monomers. But here I'm saying if we tune the Crowder Crowder interaction, we can also see uh, collapse collapse behavior without even uh, changing uh, epsilon mm or without any change without any change in interaction between uh, monomer and uh, Crowders. So for that now we are trying to implement that. Uh, this result into some only uh, like crowder only system. So if I take a crowder only system, meaning only crowders are there in the box or container, and as I increase epsilon CC and density and all, we can get three phases. So like just a van der Waal particles, you can get three phases. Uh, one is homogeneous phase, the other is coexistence phase, where two phases exist together, and third is totally droplet phase. All the particle will uh, just form a droplet. So generally what happens is there is some, okay, so the next. So this is the what phase diagram, phase diagram which we got here. It's still, work is still pending. So I'm just uh, showing this uh, in a rough manner that there are three phases I'm showing here. And as we sit on a dense, particular density and increase uh, this y axis one by epsilon cc, you can map it with the temperature of the system. So as we uh, increase the temperature, you will go from like a droplet phase to, uh, coexistence to coexistence to homogeneous phase. So what is happening? There is some critical uh, value of the transition. Then uh, below of the critical value of the temperature and the density, you, you can't see two phases together. I mean, if uh, the temperature of the system is too high, you will not see that the homogeneous, whatever density you take, you will not see the homogeneous uh, phase will go, pro, go to either coexistence phase or droplet phase. What we are trying is, we want to uh, put a polymer inside that, that kind of system and see whether the polymer, introduction of polymer, decrease this critical value. Like what, what, what will be the effect of, we don't know the decrement or the increment. We just want to see what will be the effect of the introduction of the polymer in these critical values of uh, this phase, phase diagram. To case phase diagram for various phases and introducing polymer chain and changing density interaction will affect the phase is what we are trying now. Thank you. <coughs>